What's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today we've got some awesome upgrades going on for our Axial SCX Pro here. Axial was kind enough to send out some Axial Pro Portal axles which come as a kit and they are complete so they're ready to just bolt into your truck and you get to choose if you want to run a three link setup or a four link setup with a servo on the axle. I set mine up as a four link with servo on axle. It's a better performing setup, just flat out it is. And uh, also, Reefs RC just released their new uh, SCX Pro brass portal setup. So they have portal boxes that fit the Capras and AR45s and the SCX Pro portals. And then they also have C knuckles that are made of brass as well to add a little more strength as well as weight down low. Now this front end is completely loaded with brass now. I've also got a Reefs 1100 in brass. This front axle alone weighs two pounds. The rest of the truck is not heavy at all, so we've got a crazy forward weight bias. We're going to go out and play today and just see how this thing performs. The steering angle is ridiculous and over like 55 degrees. It's super cool. This thing is a fun rig. Let's go check it out. So the portal axles add a ton of gear reduction to this thing and it makes your trucks very slow if you don't change anything else. I have not changed anything else, so I like a lot of gear reduction in my trucks, but it also makes this thing incredibly loud. I didn't change anything else. This truck used to be just honestly very quiet and now it's just, it screams. It's got a Holmes Hobby revolver in it. Check out this badass canyon, by the way. And this one's a 2,500 kV revolver. Today we're running it on 3S. It's got the Holmes V3 ESC. And it's a great little truck. With all this gear reduction, I still get crazy low end control with this revolver. So let's see if we can find a way to wheel up through here. I haven't driven this line in a very long time. Got some well scrubbed in crawlers, which are my favorite out here on this terrain. They seem to get the most traction. Oh man, we found that pretty quick. My steering on my controller is being really dumb lately. And it's very twitchy, so if you see my steering acting crazy, it's not me, it's my controller. That was sweet, that worked really well. I remember struggling on that back in the day. I probably haven't run that in like a year or two. bump through these ledges. Every time you back up, you lose so much ground. Now this truck has 40% underdrive in it, which means 40% overdrive. Underdrive and overdrive are interchangeable. The only difference is whether you're adding gear reduction to the rear or you're taking away gear reduction to the front. That's the only difference between overdrive and underdrive. It's just a technical difference of where the gearing comes from. You spin your front faster or you spin the rear slower. And it confuses a lot of people, which I wish that the companies would just use one term, like overdrive, that's fine. Unless, of course, you're buying ring and pinions which you need to know if it's an underdrive or an overdrive. So, hopefully it doesn't confuse you guys. But hopefully that explanation helped. Man, this thing's eating it up. It's just going up and up and up. This is a different trail than I normally run. This one I call my trouble trail. And we go up to the top of a cliff where you can fall like 60 feet. And then we go crawl right on the edge of it. It's, you know, it's one of the old things I like to do on the channel. Just put my trucks in danger. Holy crap, one shot bat. That's incredible. This thing is working today. All this forward weight is making it do things. OK, 
Okay, shift it over. Yep, yep. Need to see if we can get that front left and the right rear to push this truck up and around. I actually want it to kind of work its way down towards the camera. Oh, come on, you gotta get the belly out of there. Look at that steering angle on that. Just ridiculous. And then look at that low end control, even with 2,500 KV. That wasn't great. Ooh, that could be it. It should snap over here in a second. Come on. Just want that front end to settle. Okay, not quite where I wanted. Damn, had to let go. Super close, I bet if I spent 30 minutes I could probably pull it off, but for today's video, we're gonna keep it moving. Gonna try and get these rears to slide around here. No, that's the problem with really high overdrive trucks, is they're very hard to get the rear to shift where you want, to get them to slide around, because the rear tires are spinning so slowly, they really just hook up the whole time. And you gotta like violently shake your servo to get the rears to kind of shift around. There we go, a little bouncy, but we'll, we're fine in our way. Yeah, we'll take that little edge there. Portals will clear it. Straight axle trucks would not do that. So the question is, which one's better? Axial Pro on portals or straight axles? I really like this truck on straight axles. But this thing's doing incredibly well on portals too. It really doesn't seem to have hindered its performance at all. But the question is, did it improve its performance? And I don't know if it's necessarily the portals that improve the performance or just I added a ton of weight to the front that's changing it. It's different, but I don't know if it's better. Crazy side hill. Let's see if it can just straight up pull the front end up here and not roll over. Look at that slow end control. It keeps settling. My steering is not responding. There we go. Nice, that was a very aggressive side hill, uphill turn, and it pulled right through that. That was very impressive. Reefs Brass definitely making some stuff happen there. Okay, don't unload. Just trust me here, truck. There we go. Push, push, push. Oh, just rolled it. So the key there is just get our rear more under us, push a little straighter into this wall. It'll force her to go where you want. We'll take this right turn at the top. Man, what a machine. This thing's a wheel. A lot of people are asking SCX Pro or Vanquish VRD. Now Vanquish just released their affordable VRD slider kit, which is straight axle, which would be a direct competitor to the SCX Pro. The VRD carbon is excellent. Uh, I really love my VRD that I custom put straight axles on a while back. I did it myself before the kit was available. And that thing has been an absolute monster. 
it's what I've been competing with. But I had more of my sponsors' parts on that build. This SCX Pro has kind of just been axial chassis and axial truck itself. But I've compared them and they're both very, very good. So you, you can't go wrong with either one. I probably prefer the simplicity of the VRD and its transmission a little more than the shiftable underdrive in the Pro. I just think that having a, a shiftable mechanism in a truck like this is just not necessary. Oh boy. Almost went for a ride. So you guys will have to sound off in the comments below. Which one do you own? Do you have an SCX Pro or do you have a VRD? Is it a carbon? Is it a Stance RTR that you made into a higher performing truck? Or do you just run the Stance? There's nothing wrong with running a Stance. There it is, just that little tiny difference in where the rears are placed. And the truck will go right up. Up and out. Like I say, we're up on top of a cliff and we're just doing sketchy stuff. Check this out. There's a big hole through the bottom of this line. We're going to go in here and push through it. Rad. Ooh, rear tire got a big bite out of that. Now luckily I have a pretty good ledge to stand on down here so we can get good close-ups of the truck working. It just fits through here. Now there's a huge difference between the Straight Axle Pro and the Portal Pro. And that is track width of these axles. Now I talked to Wyatt, who is the designer of the Pro, and uh, actually helped design this part for reefs. Um, and he was saying that if you you take positive offset wheels that will kind of cover up the portals, then you can actually get back to the same track width as a straight axle pro with just a traditional normal offset wheel. But if you take the same offset wheel and you put it on both axles, you're just gonna get the difference in width between the axles. This is a super sketchy line and we're gonna see how she holds. There we go, I got the rear down where I want it. Man, this might be the best I've ever crawled this. That handled that so well. Now it's gonna tip you towards the cliff. Got so much forward bias, I'm not worried at all. Ooh, we're lifting front tire here. I thought our forward bias was gonna save us. Ooh, the rear's down, it should level out, but man, that is so sketchy. Look at this drop. And there she goes. Even with twitchy steering. Running through the trouble trail. Now we gotta go do the scariest line of them all. Where we go and pivot around the outside rock along the edge of the biggest cliff. Let's go see how that goes. There is a monster cliff here. And I'm dumb enough that I decided to drive around this rock one time, so now I know that it can be done, so I keep doing it. And so I kind of get in here and get it pointed this way and back down, and then get her shifted around the point. It's also a little bit mossy, which means it's low in traction. And having underdrive and reversing is upsetting the suspension. Like, ah oh man, I hope this comes through on video. This is just dumb. It's just dumb. Okay, we're pretty well committed now. 
And on stuff like this, guys, I don't, if the truck starts to go, I let it go. I, I don't reach for it, nothing. Like, I'm not gonna hurt myself over an RC truck. Are they cheap? No. But it's way cheaper than a freaking hospital bill, I can tell you that. Ooh, we need to get that rear end down. It's not working. So I'm actually just gonna drive the whole truck down. Now we got a rear a little lower. It's gonna start driving up here in a second. There she is. That's what I'm talking about. Come up the top, we could take a bite out of that ledge on the left. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, oh, don't do that, don't do that. There it is, the pro coming out on top. Hell yeah. On portals, Reefs Brass, Reefs Brass 1100 Smart Servo. We never had any want for power with steering today. That was just a bad unit there, man. And it's crazy heavy. Thank you very much to Reefs for getting one over to me. And that crazy steering angle, man. Gotta love it. What do you guys think? Should I compete with this truck next year? Or should I bring back a VRD? There we go. Side hill through it. Look how like you can just see the top of the truck. It's how sideways it is. And it never even felt light. It stayed planted the entire time. Cruised right through, the pro body giving us the clearance we need. Pancake through there. Piece of cake. Up and out, and that is the end of my trouble trail. Appropriately named because you can easily get yourself in trouble driving along those cliff edges. So friends, hope you enjoyed it. We've got one final drop to get down. I'm sweating, my GoPro is sweating. It's probably gonna overheat in here in about 15 seconds. I literally put it in a cooler before I filmed this video because I also just filmed my four wheel steer capper video this morning. So for this video, it's even hotter. We're gonna dangle ourselves out on this cliff edge and we're gonna try and reverse down this. I've never pulled this off. Let her down. She's got a hook to stop. All the way down with an ejected battery. Well, my name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. It is crazy hot, I've gotta get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Definitely check out Reefs RC for some brass upgrades, whether it's for your Capra, your SCX 10.3, or your new SCX Pro Portals, and you can get those brass seas as well. They are metal, like I say, they're brass, so it's stronger over the factory plastic, so you know, if you get yourself into a bind, you're not gonna snap that uh, C off of your axle. So definitely a welcome upgrade there. If you put the brass servo, the brass knuckles, and the brass portal covers on there, man, that thing is a seriously chonky axle. So lots of forward weight there. I appreciate your guys' time. We will see you in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.